Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Tamara the Paper and Pen Girl. It is the 1st of June, yay! So we know that this whole entire month is gonna be a celebration. I've actually started celebrating before. <laughs> so um, probably about 10 days ago I started. So this is a continuation um, of the celebration. Now, with that being said, some housekeeping. Welcome everybody to my channel. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe button on your way in and thank you in advance for supporting my channel. Um, this, what you're looking at here is not my normal video, but it's gonna be something that I'm incorporating into my channel. I was tagged by Marquita with At Home with Kita, and you need to check out her channel to do a um, Bible study planner uh, view page sheet plan with me type situation on Instagram. And so I said, let me go ahead and do a video and explain it. And then I'll post it up on Instagram. Now here's my disclosure. Um, what I'm going to be talking about here in no way am I giving anybody advice or, um, any kind of counseling or whatever. I'm just sharing what I am doing and my process and with you all and then if you see something that you like that you think will probably be helpful to you you are free to go ahead and use that suggestion as with all of my other videos now let's get started this that you're looking at is actually a hodgepodge uh, planner meaning it's not one specific thing there's going to be different sheets or pages um, of the different planners um, throughout here. This is the, um, uh, oh my gosh, Soft Geos um, planner with the rings, the beautiful lilac rings. And of course, this page here is from the Faith Planner, one of the actual horizontal Faith Planner that Mambi put out. This here, of course, is a regular note sheet um, from the daydreamer line and this is what I'll be majorly using because I need more space than what the traditional planner sheet has to offer and I don't want the lines interrupting the flow of what's going on here um, as you can see big and bold the word here is forgiveness for 2018, that was the word that I picked. It's forgiveness. Um, and this is a big word. This is a huge one. This is a deep one, at least for me. Um, because there's so many things and so many people uh, that we need to forgive, including ourselves, for a lot of different things. Um, and so I wanted to go ahead and dig a little bit deeper into this word so that I can have a better understanding of it and also to make sure that it's being applied correctly. Because, you know, if we are using anything, whether it's an appliance in our home, um, a, a pencil, a pen, a planner, if we're using anything incorrectly, then it's not going to live up to its full potential. And so we want to make sure that we're using it uh, the proper way. If I have this pen and I'm supposed to write with it this way, but I'm doing it this way, that is defeating the whole purpose of this particular instrument. So we want to go ahead and make sure that we are um, understanding what forgiveness is. Uh, I believe that there is a misunderstanding of exactly what this word means and the application of this word. And so I've seen that in my life where um, it's been misunderstood and misapplied. And because of that, it's, you know, there's more problems or issues that come along with it. So I wanted to do a, a deeper study. So this is the page that I put together for that. And it's taken me several months to be able to sit down, buckle down and start to do this because it's so deep and so personal um, as well. Now, let me take this out. Um, I put the be brave, of course, because when we decide to tackle some of these deep issues or these big, heavy, hard hitting to the heart, to your gut <laughs> kind of words, we need strength. We need to be brave about it. We need to make sure that we are um, ready to do and, and, and um, put action to what we're learning. 
there's two things that we need to make sure we know about forgiveness. Number one, forgiveness is um, intentional. You have to be intentional about forgiving people. You can't just let it be a second thought, a second th secondary thing. It has to be a primary function of our character. Forgiveness has to be a primary function of our character. And that's a difficult one because some people hurt us so bad. It cuts so deep. And um, it seems like we'll never be able to heal from the wounds. Um, and so being intentional and making sure that that's a priority of our character is a heavy thing. Um, now, this is a kind of a surface video. So, you know, not getting deep, deep, deep down into the word. Um, forgiveness also needs to be voluntary. We can't force other people to forgive us. And we also have to freely forgive others. No one can force us to forgive them. Even if, you know, you feel pressured and you're like, oh, well, okay, fine. I forgive you. That's not true forgiveness. You haven't forgiven that person. You're just saying that to pacify them. So we have to make sure that we're not doing that. We're freely giving that forgiveness to them. Um, I went ahead and went online and this wonderful website, Focus on the Family, had um, some great res a great resource, and it's a sheet, and it says, "Why do we find it so hard to forgive?" Um, I printed that out, punched it, and stuck it in my planner. So I would recommend that you all um, go ahead and pull that up and find this resource. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the link below. So you can also have this resource if it's something that you're interested in having. I'll probably put it um, down below the day after or so the video is posted um, because I film and post on my phone right away. So that I have to go to my um, computer to find the link and copy it and paste it if I'm not able to do it on my phone. I've got a busy day today. So I'm not able to do that right away. But it will be there because it's important. Um, I also wanted to make sure that I was seeking for definitions and applications from a Christian perspective. I am a Christian and I want to make sure that my understanding of things is according to the word of God. It's not according to what everyone else, what human, what um, society thinks. It's not according to their values, but it's according to thus says the Lord, which is very important for my life. Um, because no one can save you except Jesus Christ, period. And because of that, I'm not going to rely on anyone else's opinion except Jesus Christ. It also says that we should study to show ourselves approved so that, you know, we can rightly divide the word. We won't be put to shame, right? So I wanted to make sure that I'm finding that application as well as drawing from some resources um, that were available as well. So once I put forgiveness, I also went ahead and I put what the definition was that resounded the most to me. And it says to excuse someone from blame for an offense. So here's the question now. How many times do people offend us throughout the day? Eee, a lot. We could be on the phone and someone offends us. We could be um, just going out. The cashier offends us, You right? When we're out there making our purchases. Um, just many people, we're driving. Somebody cuts us off. They've offended us in some way, form, or fashion, right? So there's a lot of offending going on each and every day. So I wanted to make sure I put a definition down there is to forgive or to excuse them. I'm excusing you from the blame. Please write that word. I'm excusing them from the blame. Um, I also made sure that I put a scripture. What does that scripture that relate to it? It says, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. And that's from Luke 23 and 34, verse 34. And that was when Jesus was on the cross um, and was being crucified. He was asking God to forgive the people that were crucifying him. Can you imagine? Forgive those that are killing me for they really don't know what they do. A lot of people do not really know what they do. We think that they should know what they do. But they don't. They're not of the same mindset 
as we are. They're not of the same character. They're not of the same um, mental maturity and different things like that. So sometimes they really don't know what they're doing. Other times, some people are just intentionally mean and crude, but we're not addressing intentionally mean and crude um, right now, even though hmm, they, they're coming too. They're coming too. But I um, wanted to make sure that I define what forgiveness was to me. Then I also um, wanted to put another point that for me forgiving is returning to God the right to take care um, of justice. And it's not mine. It's not mine. The Bible says, judge not lest ye be judged. And the scripture, two scriptures I wrote for that um, is Deuteronomy 32 and 35 and it says vengeance is mine and recompense their foot shall slip in due time for the day of their calamity is at hand and the things to come hasten upon them then also uh romans 12 17 to 19 it says repay no evil for evil have regard for good things in the sight of all men if it is possible as much as depends on you Live peaceably with all men, um, beloved. Do not avenge yourselves, but rather give place to wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. So I've got to learn to leave that to God. It's not my place to judge, and it's not my place to seek for retaliation or for vengeance. Um, so those were the scriptures and that's so difficult because a lot of times we want like if you do something bad to me I'm like oh my gosh somebody needs to get them you know somebody needs to get them because they got me or oh oh okay that's what you're gonna do well I'm gonna do I could do better I can do better and we tend to go back and the bible says an eye for an eye leaves you know everybody blind but um, we have to make sure we're giving that back to God. Do not take out of God's hand what is his and his is vengeance. Also, oh, this one. Forgiveness is a process, not an event. It is not a date. We go on the date and it's over, right? We have a planner meetup. The meetup has come and gone and it's over. Mm -mm. It's a process that we're going to go through. We're not going to just miraculously wake up up unless God sees to, to do that for us and be able to forgive especially um the people that are closest to us that hurt us the most um another one says we have to forgive every time oh my gosh like are you serious every single time so every time they kick us in the head we've got to forgive them um now, with that, that doesn't mean forgiveness does not mean that when they kick you in the head and you forgive that you've got to go back and sit there to be kicked again. So don't even think for a moment that that means forgiveness means that I have to now place myself back into the same situation or circumstance that caused me to um, to, to need to forgive that person in the first place. So uh, there's so much that goes into into this whole thing. That's why I said this is a surface thing. This forgiveness is so deep and so wide and so broad and it's different from circumstance to circumstance to circumstance. So make sure that, um, you know, we're working through the whole process and not just, OK, we're forgiving and I'm going to sit back in the same um, situation that could possibly be abusive. Now, um, then I went up to the top and wrote a couple scriptures here. That was also um, very interesting to me. Well, this one is not a scripture. It says, if they don't repent, we still have to forgive them. Oh, really? Really? Like sometimes the word beats me up. And, you know, it gets you black and blue because it's like, I don't want to. I don't want to. But remember, um, voluntary is is a, a, a choice. We have a choice and we have a choice to... Um, choose how we react to people, choose where, where and what role people play in our lives. And we also have a choice to be able to forgive them every single time. Um, it is not by our own strength or our own might that we can do that. We have to be able to do that through the strength of Christ um, as well. 
So the scripture that goes to that for me, that is like, shows me the benefit of forgiving others. It says, forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone that is indebted to us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And that's Luke 4, um, I'm sorry, Luke 11, 4. And you can find that that's a part of the, the Lord's Prayer um, as well. And it's a prerequisite, like forgiveness is a prerequisite to you being able to ask God for forgiveness yourself and receive it. If you aren't willing to give something, how do you expect for someone else to just give it to you? It's not that kind of relationship. It's not a give, give. It's, it's a give and take. It's a give and take. So if I give you forgiveness and you take it, then now I'm able to go and ask God for forgiveness and take the forgiveness that he's given unto me. Now, Matthew 6, 14 and 15 explains that even better. And it says, for if you forgive others, other people, when they sin against you, your heavenly father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive other, others their sin, your father will not forgive you your sins. Is the forgiveness of God important to you? Yep, it's important to me. And so I want to make sure that I am um, doing thus says the Lord. And so in that, these are all things that were important to me about the word forgiveness and the points that are coming out from the, um, the resource sheet from focus on the family now this does have a lot more points that i need to dig deeper into one two let me count that three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen there's seventeen points here um that the author says that we should know about forgiveness and understand about forgiveness and there's only a few on this first sheet and so, and after I finished this first sheet, I did go ahead and write a little prayer here um, for, for the Lord to give me his forgiving power. Because by myself, I'm too selfish. Um, I'm really too selfish. And so I need to make sure that I'm asking for his power to be able to forgive um, like he does. Um, and another thing that I also did was I went ahead. I don't want to write on the back sheet of the paper. So I'm going to start. Um, a couple of the other ones on another sheet of paper on a clean one so they will all be only right side writing not left side writing I did go ahead and list out several more scriptures that talk about forgiveness um, as well on this um, half sheet that I made right um, and stuck it in here also um, there's more scriptures that could be written, but this is all that I'm going to do for now. Also, on top of that, I have from the Faith Planner um, a few sheets here because I know I know I'm going to need some. I know I'm going to need a lot. I know I'm going to need a lot of sheet. So it's who do I need to forgive? Mm, yeah. So now I'm going to just go through and start, you know, listing. I might do this. And list who I need to forgive on here and then write out uh, one by one the name. What is it that I need to forgive them for and my prayer on that issue and scriptures that might be able to help me with the forgiving on that issue. So this is a much deeper study and because this is such a deeper study where it's going to lead me from getting the understanding of um, what forgiveness is to who needs that forgiveness. And the first one is going to be myself, of course. And once I do the myself, I'll share that with you all and I'll do some surface things, not, you know, all the deep gory details <laughs> of it all, but I'll do some surf surface things and I'll come back in another video to do, you know, this portion to share it with you. Once I've done it about myself, what I need to forgive myself for. I'm sure we all, we all have things um, on a day-to-day -day basis and that happen to us or that we think we allow happen that we could have done better, should have done better. 
and we blame ourselves and that blame can go into okay now it's making me uh, have all these horrible bad feelings self-doubt depression so many things can come up from them so digging into um which is a part of self-care of forgiving myself so i'll be working on that next um, and then I'll dig more into the other, um, the other things that we should know about forgiveness as well. So this is what I wanted to share with you all this morning. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you like this, if you found any of the information in here useful, um, uh, as well. Um, and if you're dealing with any kind of, you know, unforgiveness or, you know, needing more or a better understanding of forgiveness like I do. Um, and then we'll just keep it moving. We'll just continue and do this and do all of the resource sheet. If you guys would um, like for me to do that, you know, I, we can take them one by one and dig into them one by one together because that's what this life is about. It's about doing things, helping our brothers and sisters to be better, to have better understandings um, of things that we need to have so that we can live a fuller life so we can live our best life and be our best selves so that's it for this video today i like i said i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you find it helpful and we will i'll see you all on the next one so just leave me that comment down below talk to you all later bye bye